For me, when concentration is good, phenomena appear in a certain flux centered in the heart region. Any advice on avoiding delusion and attachment around this? For example, the mind sometimes produces images to represent the experience, since it's a very spatial experience. Well, studying the Abhidhamma could be one fairly crass answer. Um, to the point is just to break things down into what really exists. So when you see something, they're seeing. And the point is to get to the point where an image is just an image. And the way to avoid delusion is to stop the um, associations that this means this and that means that. Like the heart region is one where, um, for example, and I don't know if it's your case, people will start to feel tension or so on, or, or the heart beating irregularly, and they'll become afraid. They'll think, oh, I'm going to die, I'm going to have a heart attack or so on. The point is to avoid any sort of um, projection in this way. Other people, they'll have an experience, for example, here, this is the third eye region. They say, oh, my third eye is opening up. And I get a lot of this because people actually believe in the third eye. They'll say, I had a third eye opening experience and so on. And it's total, um, well, it's valid in one sense. I mean, they're having some experience, but there's the proliferation, the idea of the ch chakras. We don't teach chakras because that's an extrapolation. The chakras don't exist. There may be some activity arise in a certain region, but that's just ex activity arising. It's a feeling, or it's a sight, or it's a sound, or whatever it is. That's why, if you read the Buddha's teaching, it actually seems boring and dull and dry, because it's trying to bring us to the point where we can see what really is there, and that's just seeing, hearing, smelling, tasting, feeling, and thinking. That's the truth of reality. The best way to avoid delusion is to focus on things like this, the five aggregates, the six senses, and the four satipatthana. No.